Hello there. I'm Internet Celebrity Brad Pritchard, coming to you with Master of Magic, new series as part of the Through the Mirror update. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be some goblins. Anyway, uh, I feel like they had a new song at the title screen, but it's stopped playing. So, guess you're not gonna hear that this time. One thing that, I, that they did that I think is amazingly cool, they made it so you can just enable and disable this update and its additional content, as, as it says there. Yes, yes, I, I can read. I know. Uh, just by clicking on clicking. That is so good. That is nice UI stuff. You love to see that kind of thing. I'm going to take you through the update notes because they're really interesting. There's some stuff that I told you about because I read the dev updates and there's some stuff I haven't told you about despite the dev updates actually talking about it. They, uh, Slytherin and Muha Games did a really good job of communicating the coming changes for Through the Mirror. I didn't do a great job of relaying them to you. So let me uh, go find those and we can talk about it before we start a game as the new wizard. And here are the patch notes. So as you see, there's four new wizards. Roth is a second Draconian, which kind of blows my mind. Bianca, the Dwarven Runekeeper, she has a beard, we talked about her. Tlachka, that's who I'm going to play as in this one. The Goblin Druid, and Korax Whitefeather. No goddamn idea, but I'm excited to find out. Uh, the reason I'm going to play Tlachka is, one, because Tlachka's a hilarious name, and two, she's the one new race in the game, uh, the Goblins. So interesting how that works out. There's three new heroes, the Goblin Champion, Toadsworth, the Boar Tamer, uh, the troll hero, Jotun, the ice troll, and the beastman hero, Bjorn, the fireborn. All very cool. Add summon boar hero skill. That goes with toes with the boar tamer. Yeah. Summon fat rat skill. It tells me what it does right here later. I'll, I'll figure it out. Add foodie. The hero loves to eat. Well, except, well, only except food is upkeep. Three per turn rather than the regular two. This makes them stronger. Yeah, and so this one doesn't, I don't think that's necessarily attached to any hero. So is that randomly assigned? I don't know. We'll find out. Add curse. I don't know who can cast curse. It lowers resistance, which is good, but only by negative one, which is not actually a lot. In conjunction with fire strike, that could be halfway decent, but I'm not convinced. Earthwalker. Uh, movement cost always one. One MP only on swamps, desert, tender. It said, it said mud before, but it's switched to swamp, which is correct. Add bleeding. I mean, I'm very interested in this one. If if you fail your uh, if you fail your resistance roll, it deals damage every turn. This has insane potential for timer scamming things. If if you can get a hero that has that, that's faster than the enemy units, like you can put like a ring on, just give them a plus two movement, and they'll be faster than almost everything. This seems like it might be really easy to abuse. We'll find out. Stun on a failed control that apparently you melee and range or have for one turn, which is pretty cool. That's what the boar does, uh, and that's that's good. It's not quite what I thought it would be, but it's still pretty good. There's a, this is a new skill, I suppose. Fantastic Warlord adds plus one defense, resist, and attack to fantastic creatures. I gotta imagine that's worth one point. That looks like that's not as good as Warlord, not even close, because most fantastic creatures. The ones you can create rather than summon are kind of dick. Uh, but also, when you summon something, most of them are single stacks or uh, double sta uh, double figure stacks, not like a lot. And obviously, there are some that are more like Gorgons and Chimeras or four, right? Would be probably pretty good for them. Wouldn't be great for a lot of the fantastic units. We'll see. I, I don't. I don't believe in that much. Add nature summoner. Start with war bears. I believe that's what Chachka has. Uh, so all common and uncommon nature summons uh, at start and you have a 50% discount on upkeep for nature summons. Good deal. Sounds interesting. I've never found the nature summons in the early game, which is, I think this is a real early game kind of thing. Having, having a starting set of war bears is actually pretty great. But once you get to the mid game, I don't think nature summons are too good. In the end, it picks back up because you can get basilisk or behemoth or great worm if you're all the way at the end i'm a little skeptical because the, the mid game summons for nature magicians are pretty bad honestly life bringer starts with resurrect and heal spell and all non i don't say that means non-fantastic units get the healer skill that's fun that sounds incredible not gonna lie that sounds really really good especially if you are not a 
Well, you have to have five, four life books, unfortunately. But it still sounds really good. Stone Mason, start with Stonewall in the capital as well as any newly built outpost. And all starting ratios have the engineer skill. It's it's interesting, but I don't think that's any good, personally. Uh, as you notice, the computer does not use engineers at all. I've used them to some extent, but I don't think I've gained any benefit from it. <laughs> I think all I've done is uh, wasted a lot of time. So we'll see how that goes. I need a hero. Sounds like another uh, wizard skill. Start the game with the summon hero and summon champion spell. I don't believe in that either. Uh, it, those are both so expensive to cast early game that you simply cannot do it. So I, I, I don't see how that's going to work out very well. Add boar to be summoned by the Beastmaster. Well, the Beastmaster is a, a unique unit of the goblins, but I feel like it says summon boar hero skills. So I'm assuming Toesworth can do that as well. Add fat rat to be summoned by Toesworth, the new champion. I don't know what the fat rat does. Mammoth map resource. I talked about this one yesterday. So spawn tundra and provide one food and one gold. I do feel that you need to add cities everywhere in this game because if not, your enemies are just going to settle them. So if you can get that in the tundra area, that seems like a pretty big deal. Anyway, those are the updates. I'm really excited to try it. They all sound interesting. They don't all sound good, obviously. I do think that, like, obviously, Stone Mason and Fantastic Warlord and perhaps Curse. <laughs> and maybe some others, are not particularly good, but they are interesting in their new stuff. Let's go find out what we can do with goblins. All right, I haven't noticed anything new in the game options menu. It all looks the same to me, which, fair enough, that's what it made it feel like in the patch notes as well. I'm going to leave it at the difficulty I have it. I've found it pretty enjoyable. I should probably play a game on hard on some at some point, but... I'll do that with a custom wizard. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use a. Oh, oh, here's this guy. Oh yeah, Corex is a bird person. Totally reminds me of Master o of Orion, actually. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a bird man, which is hilarious. Uh, he's a life magician, which is cool. He's he's got the, he's the one who has the life bringer skill, and he's Mirin. Uh, so he's that's pretty fucking expensive. But we'll find out about him some other time. Here's Tlachka. Uh, the art is so good here. Look at look at how beautiful that is. Um, you can see the real attention to detail in Tlachka's clothes and this bear's fucking teeth. It looks really, really good. So the good things about Tlachka is does only have one uh, one type of magic. It's nature only. I you know that I'm a big believer in not mixing magic books, which I think makes poor uh bianca here the absolute worst i, I don't do not know how to make that work and spending so many points on skills that aren't particularly good <laughs> but anyway uh i'm a mirin nature summoner obviously i'm gonna pick the goblins so we'll have some war bears to start out should be fun um uh, i actually am a big believer i don't i don't believe in wall of stone at all so let's get earth to mud instead uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think much of Wall of Stone. Uh, I, I don't think walls work very well in this game. I feel like they worked better in the original. I, I could be way off on that one. I say so many wrong things in these videos, but I, I try. Anyway, let's do that. And obviously we're going to choose the goblins because that's Talachka's homies. Production per worker is high. How about that? I didn't know goblins were so industrious. you love to see it though. Uh, I do think we have very, very few uh, books we can, or sorry, not books, buildings we can make. Settlers cost more. That fucking blows. Not going to lie. I don't know what the Earthwalker skill is. I, I, I don't. Uh, negative one armor is probably pretty bad because your armor rating tends to be your lowest stat on a lot of units. But we do have fast population growth, so this is good. I cannot build sages, guilds, shipyards, or parthenons. So that does mean uh, no alchemist guild and no enchanted weapons. For a Mirren race where you might find Inamantine, that's a pretty big kick in the dick, not going to lie. Shipyard also means no merchants guild, which to me has not been too big of a problem, but it has been a problem. And no Parthenons, so that kind of limits your magic a little bit as well. All right, I might not do a full 50 turns. Looks like I spent a lot of time talking about the update and 
the goblins and Tlachka. Of course, we've started another town not on water. Not a big deal. I don't have... There's a wizard tower up there. Uh, I do not have... I can't build merchant skills anyway. So this is, this is okay. This is all right. You, see, you can see the war bears that I've started with, which is a nice deal. I'm getting... All right, I'm getting plus four magic. That's not too bad. Units upkeep is negative two, but the using nature summer discount is giving me one of those back. I'd say not a bad deal for a good starting unit. And we are goblins. We're uh, not unhappy yet. You'd love to see that kind of thing happen. Okay, and our production, you can tell that our production's a little bit high. If I can just kick off with a sawmill, I'll feel real good about life, not gonna lie. So anyway, uh, it's gonna be a while until you can find the really exciting stuff in here, which is like the druids and the beastmaster and the boar riders. You know, I'm deeply, deeply skeptical of the boar riders. Armor 2 is so bad, and melee 4 is not good. But we'll find out. Maybe it's better than I think. I'll choose all the units this time. This might be how you lose. I don't. I, I don't really know. But anyway, all the units are. are they're, they're, they're gonna look at the world. I don't know where to go. We're gonna, I'm actually gonna look at this. There's a chance of me being able to attack this. I got. I got a good job. Thank you. <laughs> and let's see what kind of research we can do. Don't care about wall of stone. Uh, all this other stuff's too expensive. Transmute is nice to have. Summoning circle. I'm gonna need it eventually. I'll learn ice bolt. It's, I don't have any direct offensive spells at the beginning, as far as I know. So I'll get back to you when I found my second town. I did stupidly not really look at my town the first time. You can see the, how good the growth is on the population, but they uh, got pretty unhappy as soon as my troops left the town. It went up to 10%. So I'm gonna be sending the spear the swordsman excuse me back that, guy, that guy's got a turn four you can already see there's an incredible city site right here 25 max population plus 24 percent production gold ore it's not on the water obviously but you, you just gotta rock with that i think we built the the uh lovely <laughs> lovely town of or outpost at this point of carrion nest yeah okay. free stuff can i have free stuff I feel like that should work. I feel like that should work. But the game thinks it doesn't, so I'm gonna just probably agree with it. But man, what spells do I have right now that are available to me anyway? Giant strength could do something. Obviously, stone skin could do something, but doesn't do. I don't think that does much against uh, phantom warriors. Actually, this can be cast only in the world. Okay, yeah, yeah, only in the world. Okay, sprites can be cast only in the world. That's right. Okay, fuck. Giant spiders world only, right? I do have all these spells. If I could afford to cast Basilisk, I mean, obviously I'd be I'd be losing mana every turn, so it wouldn't really work out for me right now, but I should be casting Basilisk as soon as I can. It would make a huge difference. There's no doubt that I'd be able to take down any uh, neutral cities with a Basilisk. <laughs> there's, there's just zero doubt about that, but it's not gonna happen right now. I got pretty much no spells that are useful in, in combat right now. I got Giant Strength and Stone Skin. That's basically it. And they're not bad. They're okay. But uh, the game is skeptical of my ability to succeed even against two Phantom Warriors. So I'm a little skeptical as well. Turn five. Uh, is, this is a, the normal magic spirit thing that they offer you this every single time. I think you should actually reject it. Personally. I've, I've obviously vacillated on that one a little bit. But what, what the fuck am I going to do with the magic spirit? Right? I'm not going to be taking any nodes anytime soon. I know that much. <laughs> oh, I, 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 can get, I can get some other stuff. Too. I think mana is very hard to come by early game. I mean, they're both moving up at the same rate and I have less mana. It's twice as much, obviously. I'm just going to do this. All right, so you get something no matter what. Uh, that would get me down to plus three mana per turn. I just I don't see how that works for me. You know? Anyway. Bears are wandering around. These guys are living here. Carrying us will be a city in four turns. All right, turn seven, I believe. It might be turn eight. I, I I didn't mean to keep my flag green, but I'm a nature magician, so it's fine. Bear on bear violence. If I just cast stone skin, shouldn't I be fine? It's going to cost me some mana, but let's give it a shot. Surely just casting stone skin's enough. I don't, I don't need even giant strength, do I? I feel that it lifts my chances well above this random bear, right? 
casting webs not gonna help, sadly. I'm gonna stone skin it up. It's gonna cost me 18 mana, which is not a lot. Come at me, bruh, is what I say to this other set of bears. Well, I, I pressed the wrong button. I know that. So far, so good. I'm gonna let him keep attacking. I've got some super, potentially superstitious beliefs about attacking the friends of this game. I'm not sure if I'm or not, but that's one figure. And this is plenty. We're, we're doing great. See, other bears, I, you should have joined me instead of fighting me. Which is fine. I got 12 fucking mana. I regret everything. Turn 8! Carrion Nest! It's a city now. I mean, I can't do anything other than housing, but population growth. Absolutely insane for these little goblin fellas. You love to see that kind of thing happen. Let's go take a look at the capital. I haven't really looked at it in a good long while. We're still building the sawmill. It'll be there in three turns. Uh, there is nobody rebelling. We have moved up to five population. This is all well and good. Uh, after sawmill, I might need to build a spear, spearmen or a thing, right? Yeah. And they're very easy to build. I, I, I didn't really need to add it. The spearmen uh, art makes me look like that guy's really ineffectual. The swordsman looks like a, a, a serious fellow, but the, and I don't, the art on the on the goblins, in my opinion, is absolutely fantastic. I, I love what I'm seeing here, even though this guy does look like a incompetent leader and incompetent leader. God, one melee, one armor. I bet this guy just gets chewed up and spat out when he fights anything, but he will keep unrest down just a little bit. Turn nine, my bears are obviously injured, but they think that zombies and skeletons can kick the shit out of me. I, I mean, even if I weren't injured, I suspect that's still true. I'm not gonna be engaging here. All right, there's Peninsula. Turn 10, I'm gonna give you a strong, why would I do this on this one, to high elf spearmen for uh, 60 gold, which doesn't seem like tremendous value to me. They're, they're, they're spearmen. I mean, there are very attractive elvish women, but what, what am I going to do with this? Absolutely nothing. Turn 11, our sawmill is done, which is awesome. Our food supply is fine, which means I can just go ahead and build this goblin spearman. And then probably library? Should I be building marketplaces before libraries? I don't know. If, if you think I should, let me know. I Getting the plus two research is, is nice. And I don't know, money's just not that big of a deal, right? I don't know. Let me know how you feel. I, that's how I've always done it. Wait, can I not build a granary? I already have. A, I think I think your capital starts with a granary, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a granary. Okay. Yeah, very, very good. All right. So finally build a building, and it's production, which is kind of awesome. Turn 15, really just saying hello. Uh, you start to see the scope of our starting continent. And I think it's pretty big. And I haven't checked to see if there's any cities bothering me. But there aren't. There are no neutral cities around, which is kind of a bit of a bummer, honestly, because our war bears would probably be able to take down most neutral cities. And it would be nice to get some variety uh, and not just be all goblins. But it looks like that's not going to be how it's going down in the near term. Turn 17, I found something. There is a town somewhere near this edge not exactly sure where yet but i'll be finding in the next couple turns and hopefully take you away it's seemed to be on a highly desert area which well you can't win them all turn 18 i found it it's called fire peak and i suspect it's draconian right that's correct and so they can fly but I don't think their spearmen can beat me. I think my bears with, with uh, armor on them will fucking maul these dumbasses. H how are these people eating, by the way? They got zero farmers and four workers. I wish I could do that, but it seems like I usually have to feed my people, right? Not them, I suppose. Anyway, next turn, we're coming for your asses. Next turn, uh, this guy brought a shield for us. We have no heroes. We have very little money. I certainly won't be doing this. But I'm, honestly, for 250 that's not that bad of a deal, but... Nah, not gonna happen. Turn 19, no shield for Brad, but war bears coming to do work, and they think I... Well, uh, that's not without magic. Uh, all right, so I need magic. I am probably gonna just put on the armor, but I'll consider putting on the attack as well if it seems necessary. 
I don't think it will. These guys are gonna have a hard time hurting me in general. I believe they're both six-figure units. Is that correct? No, they're eight-figure units. Uh, but they're one damage is kind of kind of, kind of long. Okay, let's put this back to four X. Right. Is it defaulting to two X now? Is it gonna stay at four X? I have no idea. Oh. Anyway, let's cast some magic. Stone skin. Isn't iron skin a spell in this game as well? I'm just making that up. Like a higher level. Okay, you hurt me as well. Let's try to get this done a little bit quicker with giant strength. There's nothing else. Well, I can do resist elements. That might actually help. Chaos and nature spells or monsters. Are those chaos attacks? I think they are. These guys do have fire breath, so let's do that. Hey, look, I, I made a good decision for a change. How about that? Nice job, Bears. We have a third town. Fame Zero? Oh, that's why this town was able to do that. They're getting four food from nothing. Nice. Okay, good city. Uh, what's the max pop? I can't tell. Can I tell? Well, there's not that much. There's only two tiles of desert in it. But, uh, I don't know. Probably not that great. I don't... There we go. Max 15... Hundred or thousand, which is not not amazing, but it's not the worst. It's not the worst, and they're gonna need more units to ugh, five turns. Jindama. All right, it's gonna take a little while, but we we, we we'll, we'll we'll do that. Um, they did lose one population. Which, does the screen tell you that when you take over a town? I don't feel like it does. I'm gonna let these guys chill here uh, while I for five fucking turns. <laughs> while I produce those spearmen. I might be able to buy them early. I don't want to buy them right now because they're probably a little expensive. Yeah, I don't have 100, I don't have 100 uh, gold to burn or gill, whatever you want to call it. All right, season. Turn 21, it's now only 30 gold to buy, which seems like a great deal to me. We'll be doing that. I'm going to need one more, though. Um, I'll probably s send the war bears back out. I need to actually go back this away. I went down here so I knew there was a city somewhere, but I need to actually explore the areas closer to my starting city and second city. Which, how much, how much population you got in second city? Three already? And you're about to go to four? Are you shitting me? Population growth for these goblins is very, very good. I'd love to see it. I'll do that, then I'll do a smithy. Wait, do I want to do a builder's hall? Uh, it's required for the marketplace. But do I want the library first? Builders Hall takes a long time to build. What can you do? Everything's fine. This is good. And turn 21. This is the worst item I've ever seen, I believe. I know that I don't have much money and you can't bring me better items. But the bow of resist magic. Which actually is what it's called. I didn't read it. That's just sad. Um, one question I have about this game. I feel like the artifacts in the original game had a lot of unique names. Am I imagining that? Because this is just the bow of resist magic, and that's boring as shit. <laughs> this guy's face is not boring. But I'm not falling for this huckster. Anyway, if, I'll look that up. I can look that up myself. You don't have to tell me. I'll look it up. I really feel like the items, not all of them necessarily. Like, there's the orb of righteousness, right? That's the thing. But, uh, yeah, I feel like the items, the artifact had better names in the original, and those maybe didn't carry over at all. There's perhaps more variety than the, the merchants tend to try to sell me the more or less the same things over and over again. Not sure. I'll figure it out. And well, 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 turn 24, I found another draconian city. It's called Solonar Fang, the home of Fang the Draconian, one can only hope. They've got three units of spearmen in there. I think if I cast resist elements on my bears, they'll be fine. So it looks like I'll be getting my fourth city pretty fucking soon. And here we go on the subsequent turn. You'll notice they do not like my chances, but they're, they're swordsmen, they're not spearmen. That's probably why. <sighs> For some reason, I still believe in myself. We'll see if this is a terrible mistake. It might be. The, but what happens if I lose? I lose some war bears. I'm okay with that. I don't think it's as dire as the computer's indicating, but I'm probably wrong. 
I've been known to underestimate the computer. Whoops. Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> it's okay. I can run away. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about me. I'm trying to move my camera by using the arrow keys, and that's not how this game works. Will it resist elements first? Run, by the way. You can run away one more time without them attacking. So I have 14 more magic, 9 plus 7. That is more than 14. Stone skin. Defense first. No reason to run away anymore. Oh May as well try to play next turn. The computer was not lying. See if we can get the job done here. Oh, we made it. Okay. We made it, which is kind of good. I would like to take this city. How I'm going to do that is a bit beyond me at the moment, though. I don't know how I'm going to work that out. Hmm. Guess we'll figure it out. I need more troops is the obvious solution, but getting more troops is a bit of work. And that's not a straightforward thing. And also, <laughs> I've got a swordsman up here. And let me tell you, goblin swordsmen are terrible. That negative one defense would get them mauled by the draconian swordsman. So, bit of a bummer there. Uh, we'll probably be lurking around their city for a long while trying to pick off units and scramble for experience. We'll see how it goes. Turn 27, I am going to, instead of doing my normal building order, which would probably be Shrine then Forester's Guild. I'm gonna build the stables and try to get the boars and see if they can do something. Will this work? I'm not convinced. But is it worth a try? I think so. So we'll see how this goes. I, I, I'm not convinced of efficacy. If I make two such units, and also, geez, I had to min-max, huh? Can I do this? Yeah, I can. So that'll get that done in four turns. So I'll have two extra. I probably do another. Will they let me? They will let me. Three turns? Three turns for a stable. So Gotta remember to min-max around the game. Obviously, you don't need to do that all game, but at the beginning, it makes quite the difference. It's turn 30. I didn't express that very confidently, but it, 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 it is turn 30. You don't know this one. I've built the stables. I have no faith in this unit. It does not look better than normal cavalry to me. Cavalry to me. It does have first strike. It's got stun, though. It does have stun. So that's a unique feature of them. And an earthwalker. So it has some bonuses to terrain moving through, and it's got stun. If stun is actually good... Stun's actually good. Boar riders are good. Ish. They're not amazing. I mean, four melee, two armor is always going to pose a little problem. But it does have six figures, which, you know, the normal cavalry units only have four figures. I'm not convinced, especially because of this low armor, but I'm cautiously optimistic. It takes how many turns? Three turns? Should probably build some more settlers, too, but... Right now, we're building boar riders, and let's see how it goes. Turn 34, just a brief note here. I'm interested in these boar riders, but against draconians, it still seems like a real problem, doesn't it? These fuckers can fly, which I believe negates my first strike. I think I, I, think I solved huge problems, but we'll see how it goes. Turn 36, boar riders ready to go. I'm going to build those settlers I threatened to build, or maybe I do a minor or a forester's guild first. How about that? But only three turns for settlers is amazing. These guys were extra expensive. Are they extra cheap? Did I read that wrong? Hmm. We'll see how it goes. All right, so we got two boar riders. They are making a pilgrimage down here. It's gonna take a slight. It's gonna take a while for them to get there, for one thing. I'll probably finish this video when they get there and try to fight. It's probably gonna be bad. There's another wizard tower here, by the way. We'll see how it goes. I'm skeptical. It's turn 38. Uh, Fire Peak is still immensely unhappy with me, so I tried to build a granary, but that's not going to get the job done. We're going to need to build some spearmen first, so we'll see how that goes. Some very unhappy draconians in my lands. Not great. Turn 42. Whoops. Uh, we've united the armies, and they can move. They built at least one more spearman. Yeah, oh, they built one more swordsman too. How am I ever gonna beat this down? This is not gonna work. This is just not gonna work. <sighs> All right, well, plan B. 
Plan B is attacking this very weak, mysterious cave. <laughs> See how that goes for you. I'm a little skeptical of my ability to pull that off as well, but it seems more realistic than taking this town. This town's just going to be here for a while. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, turn 43. Surely we can defeat two lousy fire mentals. I'll, I'll, I'm trying to do all the work with the, the boars here, and I think that resist elements will be very helpful. We'll see how it goes. Because they they got they got fire attacks, so it should be something, right? Maybe, hopefully. Guess we'll find out the hard way. I just want to see what the boars can do, honestly. Resist elements is one of the cheapest spells in the game as well. Oh, put them right out in front of them. Bears may as well come support. Because might need them. Very much might need them. If boars are no good, it's going to be pretty much on the bears. Definitely going to cast resist elements on the other bull. You know what? Actually, look. This guy's already got resist elements on him, right? Let's see how this goes before I worry about the other things. Shockingly well. I, I, I will, for sure. But I suspect the resist element was helpful. I'll put it on the other one. Okay, so first time we, did we hire roll, second time we roll, that was a mediocre roll. But, you know, you can see the stun effect on them, which is absolutely great, honestly. Look at that. Uh, these guys can't... No, they can get fun up here. Fuck them up. Their attacks have. I figure it's a good idea, right? All right! Boar Riders. I am not 100% convinced, but I'm feeling it. This might be legit. Yeah, lost a little bit of mana. Gave some gold, but oh, that's, yeah, it wasn't much of a sight. Uh, still don't believe I can beat the Draconians. We'll just wander off into the, the hills here and see what else is here. There's not a lot else here, by the way. Uh, I found the entire coast here. I oh, there's some more down here, but between my second city and here, I don't believe there's any other cities, right? I ain't gonna find out, surely. Yeah, it's fine. 26? Go fuck yourself, assholes. I'll probably put a city there, even though I don't know. That. The question is, one, two, three, five. Maybe there's plenty of room over here as well. So, yeah, All right. Lots of potential for growing my town. Zero. This is still... Okay. <laughs> the red color concern. I was like, is that already taken by a wizard? Is he going to come fuck up my shit? I hope not. Doesn't doesn't appear to be that way. Anyway, I'll probably wrap this up on turn 45. Not quite the nice round number that 50 is, but we'll see how it goes. Turn 44. I think I've got reason to be confident about this one. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm going to not send the familiars. Too early for that. Too early for sending familiars. Uh, they might spend more mana than I want. I can't summon them without spending any mana. So this seems to me to be the best option. I believe in resist elements for some bizarre reason. I, I think this is a spell I maybe literally never cast in the original. But it's a different time. That can't get here, right? Definitely need to cast resist elements on the other boars. Let's see how it goes. That's the first one. Get these war bears in here to clean up the mess. First, okay. Like, for some reason, they love to attack the bears. I don't know why. Good stuff. Gained mana and gold. We, we take those. And it looks like the boar riders have leveled up. One of them. Not both of them. So it must have been right on the cusp there. But you love to see it. Good stuff. Turn 45. This is going to be the last one, I suppose. Um, I have produced my settlers, which is awesome. But also, I, I have explored so little of this map. Like, there's stuff up here. I don't know what. Okay, so as close as this. That's 20, 21, and 23, 23. You go to the 26, don't you? Because there's still going to be... One, two, three, four. There's still possibilities over here. These are not great city locations, apparently, but they're still good city locations. But it's hard to turn down that 26, right? So let's not turn it down, I think. Is what I should do. Gonna be some turns before we're successful in colonizing it, but we'll get there. 
still just kind of wandering through the world. And that is the end of the 45th turn. I should just go to turn 50, shouldn't I? It's disgusting to end a video at turn 45. So let's not do that. Turn 48, I cleared off all the fog of war here and there was nothing else. It's just a bunch of garbage. So I'll, I, I'm gonna need to figure out where to send these guys. There's some unexplored right there and up here. Obviously, that means giving up on taking this down. There's obviously a ton more over here as well, but I think it would be better for me to explore closer to my home base, so I'll be sending them back this way. All right, turn 50, and a fire elemental emerged from the chaos node here to attack me. <laughs> I want these goblins. God, they both have one defense. This is going to be gross, isn't it? It's another, just one fire elemental. We'll, we'll, we'll get through it, I assume, but I'm going to have to cast resist elements i think but it will be cheap this is my capital i believe which you hate to see them attacking my capital but we'll, we'll make it it's only cost me four tremendous value uh i'll probably probably just cast some more spells on them and help them not use the spearman at all since i'm not gonna do much damage you're are you an eight stack yeah you're an eight stack so let's maybe giant train Can I, uh, you guys wanted to look at my spell, but can I now afford to cast all three of my buffs? <laughs> Victory is mine, you'll love to see it. And also, this is going to be the turn where I'm going to be able to settle my, oh, I wouldn't carrying this. They, they go to some. Look at you guys. Tremendous value. God, the, the extra production on these goblins is driving me wild. I love it. It's helping so much. Uh, they don't really have any problems with unrest so i think the shrine is not necessary we'll build this new thing i'll actually gonna x this out build a marketplace next as long as things are still fine that's eight population two units no unrest seems good seems good there's a these goblins have a little bit going for them the stun attack seems to have maybe worked it's kind of good i don't know if it's amazing but it's kind of good is this mithril or anything there's nothing oh, there's some gems in there or something it's just weird plants. Fair enough. Not that I can build an alchemist guild, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, this is the location I had picked out, the 26th spot. Oh, there's a 27 there, but I'm not going to build there. Just making sure they still look the same. They do. 25 down there. Yeah. yeah right. Let's build a town, and we'll call it an outpost. We'll call it Shroom Hill, where we get high on the mushrooms. Anyway, that's turn 50 initial impressions oh, what's this thing called by the way i have totally forgotten it is called uh what, what do you call dlc through the mirror brought the the new race the goblins i'm playing with right now and their associated wizard chachka who's having a great time and you know um don't know all that much just yet. I love the new goblin art. I also really, I'm cautiously optimistic about the boar riders and their and their stun ability. It seems pretty helpful, and they acquitted themselves well against some fire elementals. So yeah, definitely cautiously optimistic about that. And you know, the game itself has not changed, but there's just new stuff, and obviously the production bonus of the goblins is uh, tickling my fancy. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be following this one up in the days to come. Hopefully I can get some videos done for the weekend. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'll definitely try. And we'll see if we can learn any more about the changes in Through the Mirror. But right now, I love how it looks. Pretty great. Take care, guys. I'll see you later.